A 2.5 inch diameter cast iron post is subjected to a 3 kip force and an 18 kip inch couple at the top. What are the principal stresses at locations A and B 9 inches away from the top? This is the first example for the combined loading main video, link below. Following what we learned during that video, we know that our goal is to find the stress state for both elements A and B. And to do that, we need the stresses and therefore the internal loads at a cross section 9 inches from the top surface. From a sum of forces in the x direction, we find a shear force reaction P, and from a sum of torques, an internal force T. A sum of moments about the z-axis shows us that there's an internal moment m sub z equal to p times l. Looking at the cross section at the cut, we see that there are no normal internal forces. The internal torque T causes a torsional shearing stress on the top faces of both A and B. By bringing mz closer to the surface, we see that A is on the neutral axis of the bending and B is subjected to compression. And finally, the shear force P will cause a maximum shearing stress on the diameter perpendicular to that force and the zero stress at B. With the values for the torsional shearing stress and the transverse shear stress, we find that stress element A is subjected to a shearing stress of 6.68 KSI. The shearing stress for element B would only be that of torsion, and the normal stress would be that of bending as a compressive normal stress in the y direction. By using more circle, we see that the principal stresses at location A are 6.68, 0, and minus 6.68. And for element B, which has a sigma average of minus 8.8 .8 and a radius of 10.6, we see that the center of the circle is located at minus 8.8, .8, sigma 1 at the center plus a radius, sigma 2 at 0, and sigma 3 at the center minus a radius. The maximum shearing stress of element B would be the radius at 10.6 KSI. For more examples on combined loading, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.